Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody just sent me a photograph of, of a medallion with some stuff inside. They want to know how to make this box. This is real easy, kind of fun. I'm going to hold down my control button and, and draw a circle. I'm going to hit P and put it in the center of the page. I'm going to make the circle 12 inches. I've got my ratio locks so on both over 12 inches. I'm going to control D, made a duplicate. I'm going to make the new one 15 inches. Now let's zoom in here. Now just take a two point line, make sure it's long enough to cover both circles, holding down the control button so you get it perpendicular. Hit P on the keyboard and make sure it's in the center of the page. Double click on it and let's rotate it 50 degrees. Control D and make a duplicate, but this time we're going to rotate it 310 degrees, basically the opposite way. Then just take your virtual segment delete key and delete these lines you do not need anymore. Because all we want is that bottom line. Now when you make these lines a little thicker, I'm going to show you a problem that you're going to occur, but it's very easily fixed. Let's select all this, go down here and make your pen tool, and let's make it 12 points and black. Now here's a little bit of a problem. You have a not so good edge. It's where the two lines join after you made them bigger. Very easily fixed. Select everything, go up to Windows, go to Dockers, Go to Join Curves. I've got my gap tolerance set on one inch, which is way more than enough. Hit Apply. Now you've gotten rid of those bad corners. You've got crisp, clean corners. And then just take your text, whatever you're going to put in there. Hit your text tool up top, text to path. And wait till you get that orange line, red line. And you're basically done. Now, there's a couple ways you can move this, but when you move this, it kind of rotates it up and down. So I found it just better to select it all, go up to Object, Break Text Apart. If your nudge distance is set real low, you can just minutely move that text up. And it says I've got a curve, so there's our text. Now just minutely move it up and you have it, you're not playing with the rotation and just get it to your visually, you know, happy with the results. But anyway, that's a pretty cool effect. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.